with the uh, two vehicles and four dirt bikes instead of three which is i mean no big deal but yeah it's hot and i don't have ac god just does not want me to have ac apparently uh, you have no idea how many how many times i've gotten the ac fixed and on my last two trucks same deal just never had ac and yeah so i'm used to it and just gonna sweat her out I don't know where the hell they got this photo, but man, that's from a long time ago. It's about a day and 10 hours. So yeah, it's a drive. We're light, under 20,000. So it should go fairly smooth. Hopefully go to partial. Let's see. God damn. What is this, a dust bowl? Casey's 
almost paying under five, but you gotta pay 505 here, which is a lot better than the other places. So, especially out west, because I was paying on average 550. So, it was good to be back in the Midwest. And possibly get the truck washed today. Got a lot of bugs on the front, just because I was running all last night. And a buggy machine. Might stop in Lincoln, do some laundry and stuff. I have a friend that lives there, so that would be clutch if I could do that. But this morning wasn't that bad. I thought for sure I was gonna be, you know, drenched and sweat and all that, but no, I mean, woke up around 11, so I got about five hours of sleep. I feel like a new man. Yes, you did. You sure did. So I just had a elderly couple get mad at me and he, he gave me the middle figures. So like he's behind me feeling up. And so I, I went up to him and I was like, what's up, man? He's like, you wouldn't move your truck. Like uh, I couldn't get turned around. And I'm like, you know which way the pump goes. Like, why are you trying to come in backward? And I pull forward and as you guys can see, like, you know, I'm just in front of the pump, not blocking anyone. So he could have got around. So yeah, it was funny. I mean, once I came up to him, he's like, oh no, but yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, man. I was just frustrated. Yeah, well, I get it, but don't, don't put your problems on other people, okay? <laughs> yeah, it definitely sucks not having AC, but at least I got these two little things to keep me cool. She's definitely a hot one today. Woo. All right, and Durant. Got to Jake and he actually has a little bit of uh, a leak on the bottom of the radiator and yeah I mean it's a hole so it's gonna have to wait and we're gonna probably just leave it. Pray that we make it. I think we got a couple miles to go and yeah we'll see. <laughs> All right let's go to be shot. Oh yeah just give her a little drop. I know. Don't want to leave. We'll see you later. Just got uh, all cleaned up and uh, did some laundry, so I'm being so shy, girl. As I told you guys, my AC went out again. I asked Adam, and he said it could be the expansion valve, so I took the, this guy off and I'm gonna go into Kenworth and see if that does the trick. Got her swapped out with the new one. Let's just pray to God that she does not leak. Alright, time to get her charged up. Moment of truth, just gotta do a vacuum. Since we had it open up, we got eight minutes left. And then uh, we'll add some Freon. Hopefully uh, no leaks come up. All right, just got her filled up some Freon. She's blowing 63, so it's good enough for me. She's looking good. Up, all right, so got about 10 miles down the road, and yeah, you see, put working again. So, uh, what to do? What to do? What else? Damn AC, just doesn't want to work for me. All right, so I'm gonna stop at Kenworth and St. Joe, Missouri. They're gonna look at it and see what needs to be done. Uh, I feel like a belt's gonna need to be replaced because it smelled pretty bad. Uh, like 10 minutes after they fixed the freaking uh, EC. But yeah. Anyways, hopefully uh, they can fix it. Oh, well, here we are at Kenworth again. So they're saying that I need a compressor now. So that's awesome. That'll probably be a $400 install, plus probably another 200 in labor. Super shady day. So the AC compressor, the clutch, dryer, you name it. 
needs to be replaced. So I'm walking to a bar, they're getting started on it. And I'm a lot farther behind than I'd like to be. Still got 17 hours to go. And uh, they want it there by Wednesday. It's not gonna happen, but we'll get there. I just got some food in my stomach, so I'm feeling a little bit better, but still pissed off. I can't do anything about it. Just uh, gotta stay positive and look at the bright side. There's really no bright side, but you deal with it. All right, Danny, so tell us what happened. Why am I getting my AC fixed for the third time? I guess you go to people that really don't know what they're doing. Yeah, uh, that sums it up. But in the end, they overcharged the system. They put way too much in, so which caused my compressor, my fan, the clutch, everything to go out. So yeah, an extra thousand whatever plus, I'm sure, because people don't know their shit, so. But luckily these guys do, so <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get her fixed up and uh, we're gonna fucking hit the road here in a little bit and got about a 17 hour drive, so. Pull an all nighter tonight, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, so that's supposed to rotate. Spin. Yeah, all the way and yeah, as you guys can see, she fucked up, so. <laughs> got her changed out. We're just doing a leak <laughs> test again, second time today, but. Danny's not gonna overcharge the system, so uh, let's, yeah. Let's see you. I think it's gonna work longer than uh, five ten minutes. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Danny got me all fixed up here in, at Kenworth in St. Joe, Missouri. So, hey man, I really appreciate it, and hopefully, <laughs> I don't have to deal with this anymore. Because uh, yeah, that's probably I don't know, close to probably three grand just down the drain. So. You went some and you lose some, yep, man. Yep, yep, yep. So, but hopefully I won't be back anytime soon. <laughs> well, if you ever need roadside service, get on. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah, and what is your roadside service? DB Diesel. Okay, so DB Diesel. DB Diesel. And I'll put that in the description. <laughs> so just make sure to, yeah, if you guys are in the area, to give them a ring and hopefully he can get you back on the road. Or come down to Kenworth. One yeah. Two. I work from yep. 3 to midnight. Yep, so... so. Or All right, guys. During the day, well, or even better. So, <laughs> I, I appreciate it, my man. Close, but not all the way. We thought we were done. And then we ended up having to change out the valve again. So yeah, it's uh, it's been a hell of a night. And, I mean, it's about 11 o'clock now. I think I got here around six. So, yeah. About three hours ago. Yeah. So, but hey, I think it's gonna work, <laughs> and we're not gonna have any issues. So yeah, we're gonna be good. What do you think, Jeremy? I don't know. You can Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. Was, it's midnight and it's time to pull a shot. Got the AC working. Alright, we'll see you around. Later, man.